Dunedin Brewery Spates has come up with an ambitious plan to send a fully working pub on a 10-week voyage to London. As Dave Gooselink reports, they're after a few good southern men to go on a high seas pub crawl. This replica Spates Ale House is being built in a Dunedin warehouse, but it's destined to end up on the other side of the world to quench the thirst of homesick Kiwis living in London. Yeah, we're sending the whole, the whole thing. We've got a couple of 40-foot containers, join them together, put a bar in them, we're going to send the whole thing, put it on a boat. The ambitious plan was inspired by expat Tim Allingham, who emailed Spates complaining he was missing his local beer in London. Spates got in touch with his best mate, who helped brew up a challenge. Why not send him a whole pub? Uh, if you can't take your, your mate to the pub, take the pub to your mate. The pub's a replica of the iconic Cadrona Hotel. Mrs. reckons it's high time we move to a warmer climate. All right. There are now replicas all over New Zealand, but this will be the first offshore alehouse. And it's no miniature copy. The pub will take up a third of the deck space on the charter vessel. It's about 75 square metres of, uh, yeah, so it's bigger than some bars actually out in there and, you know, in the cities. The ship departs Dunedin in late July, travelling to Samoa, up to Panama and through the canal, east to the Bahamas, a quick stop in New York, before arriving late September somewhere in London. We haven't identified anywhere in particular, but I guess there's plenty of Kiwis in London, so wherever they're located, that's where we'll be. Livingston, a trained lifeguard, is now looking for a few more crew members to share the responsibility of babysitting the pub. We're looking for three people uh, with a southern man attitude, uh, yeah, really honest, hard-working, uh, can-do people, uh, up for a bit of adventure. I mean, There is one big attraction. The fully stocked bar will be open for two hours every night of the voyage. And despite the pub's move to the home of warm beer, Spates insists their brew will most certainly be ice-cold. Dave Gooselink, 3 News.